one of the biggest fears of the UK tablet media is coming true. Megan is continuing with her life. Moving on. She has moved on. And my family, it has gotten the carnival of so-called experts scared. Just today, we will see Megan be honored. At Tuesday's 2023 Women of Vision Awards. And my family, I just can't wait. I just cannot wait. Now the Women of Vision Awards celebrates feminist change makers and powerhouse grassroots leaders. And Megan will receive her award from Gloria Stanham, the one, the only Gloria Stanham, a feminist icon who co-founded the Miss Foundation, which runs the Women of Vision Award. My family, I'm so happy. I'm so happy today right now. I'm extremely happy. I'm excited. Megan is going about her life, moving on, continuing to thrive, receiving awards, my family, for her work to help out others, to empower women. My family, don't forget, Megan did this even before she met Prince Harry. And my family, I can't wait to see Megan receiving that award. And my family already, the carnival of so-called experts back in the UK are scared. They're afraid. They are throwing a tantrum. My family. And my family, here is what they have been whining and mourning about. They are saying that Meghan Markle's post Coral Newton Award is a slap in the face to King Charles. First of all, my family, the Women of Vision Award has nothing to do with King Charles. Nothing. The Women of Vision Award has nothing to do with King Charles. Nothing. Nothing, my family. So my family, once again, we are seeing the carnival of so-called experts, the tabloids, the press, my family, so desperate to attach anything that Harry and Meghan are doing. Even an award show that has nothing, nothing to do with the royal family, to do with King Charles' coronation and putting Meghan's name there. On a topic that has nothing to do with King Charles' coronation. My family, the Women of Vision Awards, it recognizes women who have had a significant positive impact in their respective fields. My family, it celebrates feminist change makers and powerhouse grassroots leaders. What does that have to do with King Charles' coronation? My family, exactly as I've always said, just as I said yesterday, my family, it is the media who are desperate to attach Harry and Meghan with anything having to do with the royal family back in the UK, even when a subject has nothing to do with King Charles' coronation. What does Meghan receiving, being honored, at Tuesday's 2023 Women of Vision Awards have to do with King Charles' coronation. My family, what the tabloids can't stand, what they can't accept is Meghan moving on. My family, they can't accept that. They can't stand that Meghan is thriving. Meghan is going about her life and not focused on what happens there. Back in the UK, my family, exactly as I have said, Megan has moved on already. Megan has moved on, and we are having the carnival of so called experts throwing a tantrum because Megan has moved on. Megan is being honored. 
my family, with the Women of Vision Award, it has nothing to do with King Charles' coronation. Nothing. My family, Meghan, even before she met Prince Harry, already was advocating for women empowerment. Meghan, even long before she met Prince Harry, was already at the United Nations giving an address, promoting, advocating women empowerment. Even before meeting Prince Harry, even years before Harry addressed the United Nations himself, Meghan already had addressed the United Nations. My family. And one thing that I am seeing my family for a fact is this desperation by the UK media to attach anything that's going on in the UK, even things which have passed, onto Prince Harry and Meghan to make money, to make a profit, my family. They can't let go of Harry and Meghan. You know, my family, the carnival of so-called experts have claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan need to be attached with the royal family to make money. For my family, it's crystal clear. The ones who truly want to attach anything having to do with Harry and Meghan, with the royal family, clearly is the UK media. Clearly is the carnival of so-called experts. My family, they are the ones who are doing what they are doing right now, my family. They are the ones who are obsessed, fixated, my family, on attaching anything that Harry and Meghan are doing with the royal family. And my family, as you can see, Meghan being honored at Tuesday's Women of Vision Awards today, my family, has nothing to do with the royal family. Nothing. However, we are seeing the media trying to make it about King Charles' coronation. My family. And my family, here is what is being said, my family. Barely 10 days after King Charles III was crowned in London, his daughter-in-law, Meghan, is receiving an award in New York City, the Big Apple, my family. <laughs> my family, I love that. I love that 100%, my family. I love that Meghan is being honored. My family, I love that it's Gloria Stanham who is awarding Megan this amazing women of, of Vision Awards, my family. I'm so proud. I'm happy. I'm excited. You know? And my family, please kindly hear this. The carnival of so-called experts are not happy. Here is what they are saying, my family. As the mother of two is being celebrated, Several royal experts have taken issue with the awards timing. My family, it makes me so sick time and time again to hear this whining carnival of so-called experts constantly complaining anything good happening to Harry and Meghan. You know, we are concerned about the timing. We're taking issue with the timing. Why now? My family, when King Charles put his coronation on the same day as Archie's birthday, my family, have you heard Megan complaining? No. No, my family. Have you heard Prince Harry complaining? No, my family. Even though what Charles did was clearly wrong, even though what Charles was doing, my family, was to ensure that my family, he tries to erase Archie from the history books. That whenever people talk about May 6th, they speak of King Charles' coronation and not of Archie, a biracial child, the biracial grandson 
of the king's birthday. That's what Charles was trying to do, my family. What he did was wrong. But my family, regardless, we have never had a single complaint from Harry and Meghan about it. Discussing the timing of it. Never. Not even once. My family. And since that is the case, why is it that this carnival of so-called experts are whining constantly? Taking issue with Meghan receiving an award. The timing of that. My family, these people never check in with Meghan whenever they have events because they don't have to. And similarly, Megan does not have to check in with the royal family whenever she's having an event. Whenever she's doing something, whenever she is receiving an award, she does not have to check in with the royal family. Are you okay with the timing, King Charles? Are you okay with the timing, Prince William? Are you okay with the timing, King Milton? No! 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 Megan does not earn a penny of taxpayer money. She does not have to check in with Charles, Kate, Camilla, Prince William about anything. Especially not the timing whereby my family, Megan, is about to receive, you know, a Women of Vision Award. Especially not right now, my family. And also, as a matter of fact, my family, Megan does not set the date of when these, you know, awards are set to be given out, handed out, my family. Megan does not set the date of when the recipients of this award are set to be honored. My family, Megan has no power to do that. My family. But yet, you are hearing some carnival or so-called experts who obviously do know this whining. Oh look, we are taking issue with the awards timing. Excuse me? These people should shut up and move on from Megan because Megan has moved on with her life. My family. My family. Here is what they are whining about. On April 12th, Buckingham Palace confirmed that Meghan would not attend King Charles' coronation. Again, this has nothing to do with the fact that Meghan is being awarded a Women of Vision Award. Also, my family, I just had to say that. So my family, at that time, it was confirmed by the palace that Meghan would not attend, would not attend King Charles' coronation. And my family, the palace, the royal family were leaking how happy they were. My family, some members of the royal family were saying, leaking that, you know, they're happy that, you know, the Meghan Markle drama you know, won't be here for King Charles' coronation. This is about King Charles. And my family, they got what they wanted. The tablets also, when they were hounding Meghan out, when they were writing articles, like what Piers Morgan wrote, an article titled, Meghan should go back to America. My family, they got what they wanted. They can't complain that Megan is receiving an award in New York. But that's what they're complaining about my family. The smear campaign is a failure, a huge failure. And they can't stand it, my family. You know? And my family, here is what is also being said, my family. Instead, Megan remained at a California home with her two young children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. My family, a husband, Prince Harry, who has publicly sparred with his family, arrived to King Charles' coronation alone. 
Harry then bolted. <laughs> my family, you know, my family, one thing that I see from the language that is being used, truly, never will they be able to accept <laughs> that Harry left quickly and headed back home to California to be with his son, daughter, and wife. My family, they'll never be able to accept that. It, it makes them so bitter, so bitter, so upset, my family, that Harry has chosen his wife and kids. I mean, what did they expect? What did they expect, my family, from Harry? You know, my family, I get what they wanted. Just as Harry said in an interview with Stephen Colbert, he said they thought Meghan would leave only because of how they were abusing Meghan. They never thought that Harry would leave. So I get what they thought will happen when they were attacking Meghan. But my family, they knew Harry loved Meghan and they went after Meghan so, so hard to try and make her leave Harry. And still, they're trying to do that. But my family, it's never worked. It's never worked. Instead, Prince Harry and Meghan, my family, are being honored in the US. When they say that Harry and Meghan would fail, when they say that, oh look, Camilla Parker Bowles, the woman who made Diana's life a living hell, is way more popular than Harry and Meghan in the US, my family, those lies they have told, clearly, that just ain't in my family. It's Harry and Meghan who are so, so popular in America, in California and around America. And this mere campaign by the UK media has been a total and utter complete failure. When they wanted Harry and Meghan to fail, Prince Harry and Meghan have constantly been honored time and time again. When they've tried to destroy Harry and Meghan's reputation, to destroy their marriage, my family, they have failed. In just a few days, three days from now, Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, will be enjoying, celebrating their fifth wedding anniversary. My family, God is good. The hate campaign has been an utter, complete failure. And now they can't stand that Meghan continues to be honored. That Harry went back to California with his Dior suit. And my family, they are mentioning Harry's Dior suit. My family, they were so bitter, so bitter that Harry can now finally afford expensive things. That Harry continues to thrive when back in the UK, he would beg Charles for money. He would beg William for money. My family, that was how Harry's life was supposed to be. A life of begging. A life of getting pocket money from Charles to go shop at TK Maxx. Get some discount clothes. My family. The life of a pauper prince. And now, Prince Harry has gone to the US, has a job, has good money, lives a good life, has a $14 million mansion in California, in Montecito, where he lives with his wife and kids. His first ever home that he owns with his wife and children. My family, UK media just can't stand that. The carnival of so-called experts can't stand that Harry has upgraded in his life. Now my family, one carnival of so-called expert called Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox News, the timing could not be more wrong. Could not have been more wrong. That's what he's saying. Considering that Megan was noticeably absent from the single most important moment in Charles' life and a singular moment in world history. My family, they are angry that Megan protected her mental health, protected her kids 
from their abuse. Because we all know what would have happened had Megan gone there. Abuse, toxicity, leaking from William, constantly briefing the media. That's what would have happened. Just like what happened when the Queen passed away. My family, and what has been happening for many, many years now, my family. They are angry that Megan did not give them the pleasure of abusing her in the UK. Of harming her mental health. They are angry about that. My family, make no mistake. The target of this mere campaign, we all know, it's always been Megan. Even Megan in the Harry and Megan documentary say that she's the target because she knows my family. So my family, they're angry that Megan protected her mental health by not going to a place whereby she has experienced and continues to experience so much abuse at the hands of the UK media and the royal family. And my family also, if you have read Prince Harry's memoir, surely. Which I know this carnival of so-called experts like Christopher Anderson have read. Why would you think Meghan should go to King Charles' coronation, fly over there, take abuse, bow down to a man who called Prince Harry before the Queen passed away, telling Harry, don't bring Meghan. And then abusing Harry's wife. Somehow, my family, it's so sickening to hear some people believing that or thinking that somehow the victim of abuse, of Charles' abuse, should come there, bow down before Charles, bow down before this important moment of Charles' life when Charles could not care less about Meghan, Archie, or Lily Badana. Or even Prince Harry, my family. Because my family, even some carnival of so-called experts, can't deny Charles only brought Harry there for purposes of optics. My family. And my family, these people must understand. Megan won't come over there to bow down to people who hate her. King Charles. Prince William, Kate, Camilla, she won't. Megan has moved on. And clearly, this carnival of so-called experts can't accept, won't accept that Megan has moved on. My family, Megan also receiving this award shows also one other thing. The smear campaign has been a complete and utter failure. Megan is being honored by respectable women. If the smear campaign had worked, no person, even Gloria Stanham, would not want to be close to Megan. My family. But guess what? She's close to Megan. The smear campaign has been a complete and utter failure. People want to hang around Megan and Harry. My family. And that's what the carnival of so-called experts just can't, you know, accept. My family. Now this carnival of so-called expert called Christopher Anderson says that, and I quote, what a slap in the face to the man who walked her down the aisle when her own father did not show up at her wedding and to the country she adopted for better or worse as her own. My family, Excuse me, why is it that these people never mention what Harry said in his memoir about how Charles contacted Harry, then said abusive stuff about Meghan? Why? Why do they so conveniently leave that out when they are saying that Charles walked Meghan down the aisle? So Meghan should forget about, you know, Charles' abuse of her. Just forget about it. But my family, the thing is, they don't mention Charles' abuse of Megan because it does not fit their narrative. It doesn't, my family. And my family, once again, you owe your abuser nothing. 
Just kindly please hear this first of all, my family. What Christopher continues to whine about and complain about. And I quote, he says, you know, charity begins at home. He shared, much of the time Harry looks like a fish out of water. And you don't have to be an expert to see he's still hurting. And then Christopher goes to attack Megan. He says, if Megan is truly a sensitive and caring person, she would make it a top priority. <laughs> Hear this, my family. A top priority to help mend a husband's relationship with his brother, Prince William and the King. <laughs> my family, allow me to just kindly say this. Megan does not owe her abusers anything. Already, Megan gave them everything and they treated her poorly. They treated her appallingly. And my family, we have seen Prince Harry in California. The man is a happy man. A happy man. Whenever he's in the UK, he's upset, he's sad. And my family, what we did see, my family, whenever he went to King Charles coronation, when he was there, he was the only one who was smiling there. The only one. Of all the people who are happy, it appeared to me that Prince Harry, the man who had the chance to live, who is a free man who can go back home to California where he lives with his wife and children in his $14 million amazing mansion that he paid for with his own money. He was the only one who was happy there. My family, of course Harry is upset about what Charles and William have done to him. But clearly, even after he went there, clearly he must have seen those people are not worth it. No wonder he went back home to his wife and kids quickly and also not to miss his son's birthday because my family, Harry, is a responsible, loving father, is a loving and caring husband, something William, Charles, will never be in their lives, my family. And my family, it is not on Meghan to fix Prince Harry's relationship with abusive Charles and William. No! My family, it makes me sick for this carnival of so-called experts to constantly tell the victims of this smear campaign, Harry and Meghan, and then target Meghan and say, Meghan, you need to fix Harry's relationship with William. And William always leaks time and time again how much he hates Prince Harry. Somehow, it's Meghan who should fix that. Make it a top priority. My family, they want Meghan focused on that. You know, my family, one thing you also learn is what they want Meghan's attention to be on. On anything having to do with the royal family so that she does not proceed or continue with her life. My family. And that's why they're so bitter about Megan going to New York to receive an award. They can't stand this idea that Megan is continuing her life. What they're seeing, my family. They can't stand it for a fact. My family, they can't stand that. They want Harry and Meghan to be focused on what's happening over there with King Charles, Prince William. So my family, they don't proceed with what they're doing, with their projects. My family, that's what they want. But my family, I have a message for Harry and Meghan. Continue with your lives. Proceed with your projects. Meghan, relaunch your blog the take. Make yourself hundreds of millions of dollars. Make yourself a billionaire, you and Prince Harry. Go ahead, do that. Proceed with your life. Clearly, my family, Harry and Meghan, are headed in the right direction, my family. And we are having some carnival of so-called experts wanting them to focus on Charles William because my family, that will help them pay their rent if Harry and Meghan are focused on King Charles and William.
And my family, it is not on Megan to fix anything between Harry and William. It is not on Megan. It is not on the victim of William's abuse, William's insults, William's lies to fix the problems created by Prince William who authorized his employee to issue a statement against Megan in court. It's not on Megan to fix that. My family, what William has worked so hard to destroy. Not on Megan, my family. Not on Megan. My family, not on Megan. And my family, once again, here is what Christopher also says. Marrying to the royal family, accepting a title, and then bailing to take advantage of your new global superstar status seems, well, tacky. That's what Christopher says, my family. My family, why did Megan leave? Once again, Megan left because of a torrent of racist abuse from the media, from the tabloids, as Harry said. In an interview with Stephen Colbert, he said they thought Megan would leave because of how they were abusing her. So my family, they expected Megan to leave. Megan did not leave because she wanted to take advantage of her new global superstar status. She left to protect her mental health. She left because of a torrent of racist abuse from the UK media and the royal family which we have learned from Harry's memoir, came from Prince William, the attacks on Meghan. William called Meghan difficult, abrasive, rude. All those racist tropes used against women of color, like Meghan. No evidence of Meghan being a bully. Nothing. Zero evidence, my family. However, they lied about Meghan. That did not stop William from lying about Meghan because the entire goal is to destroy Meghan's reputation, to try and ruin Harry and Meghan's marriage, to embiggen himself, to have Harry back, to be miserable and unhappy. That's what William wants. And the tablets, well, Harry ain't coming back, my family. Meghan left to escape their abuse. Not because she wanted to get to take advantage of a new global superstar status. We all know why she left. A torrent of racist abuse towards her and towards her son Archie. Never ever forget that, my family. And if they do forget, because clearly they want to forget why Megan left, well, we'll remind them. We'll remind them why Megan left. Why she and Harry left to protect their mental health. And because of abuse, lack of support from the royal family, my family, Prince Harry pleaded the royal family, just protect my wife, protect us. They did not, they refused. Instead, they kept on feeding Megan to the wolves. But my family, somehow, it's Megan who was being fed to the wolves by the royal family, by Charles and William, that somehow should be the one to mend this relationship between Harry and William. The victim of the abuse, their target of the smear campaign should fix Prince Harry his relationship with William and Charles. No, 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 my family. No. Megan owes nothing to her abusers. She owes nothing to her abusers. Nothing. So my family May Megan continue to thrive. Continue to be happy. My family, we love seeing you Megan happy. We love it. And we love seeing you receiving these amazing awards. And I can't wait to report about Megan receiving these awards. I'm counting down the time right now to when Megan receives the award, my family. I just can't wait, my family. Now, my family, Christopher also said that, and I quote, Megan is making it clear. That she has a life of her own. Doing the things she thinks are important. Not things she knows are important, Christopher. She also seems to be saying that getting a trophy from Gloria Stanham is more important to her 
than seeing her husband's dad crowned king of England. Christopher says my family. Well, guess what? My family, go where you're accepted. Go where you're welcomed, appreciated, not tolerated or abused. My family, I seem to recall King Charles' statement announcing that Harry was coming and Meghan, Archie, Lilibet were not. He said he was pleased. He was pleased. He was pleased. He was pleased to confirm Harry is coming. Meghan is not. Archie is not. Lilibet is not. If I can recall the exact statement. With my family, I do recall it. He was pleased. Pleased. He was happy. So my family, if the king is happy, Megan ain't coming. Why is Christopher whining, complaining that Megan ain't coming? Did not come. Because Christopher wanted to make money off of abusing Megan. Getting a huge payday from attacking and smearing Megan. My family. When my family... I'm glad Megan did not come. And yes, my family, Megan is happy to receive an award. To fly to New York, receive an award. A Women of Vision Awards from Gloria Stanham. That's way more important than King Charles' coronation. Go where you are accepted, appreciated, wanted, not tolerated, my family. My family. And my family also, here's what Christopher also says, my family. Clearly, these carnival or so-called experts are so bitter that Megan rejected them, my family. Here's what Christopher said. And I quote, funny though, isn't it, that she would essentially give up being a senior member of the royal family and all that goes with it just to be another influencer. Well, Christopher, yeah, life in the royal family was hell for Megan. They treated her so, so poorly. They abused her, my family. And clearly, carnival of so-called experts won't forgive Megan because she rejected them. She said no to them, my family. And that royal family, they'll never, ever accept it. My family, well, if you wanted Megan to stay, you should have treated Megan well, but you did not. So stop complaining, Christopher. Stop complaining. Stop complaining, Christopher. My family. And my family, someone say this my family allow me to read some comments based on what christopher said my family from members of the squad who have been discussing what christopher has said on twitter my family now someone said that they've really been spiraling and or acting desperate since megan said no and harry bounced on out of there one event has nothing to do with the other exactly as i've said Meanwhile, it's the others who seem intent on being influencers. My family, Prince William and Kay Moulton, my family, who are shooting some sort of video, my family, <laughs> before King Charles' coronation, trying to copy Harry and Meghan and what they're doing with Netflix, my family. That's what the media tried to make comparisons. My family, Prince Harry and Meghan, have the second most successful documentary ever on Netflix. William, Kate, don't have that. We'll never have that because they are not interesting. My family. My family. Someone said that I guess these people have never had go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. My family. <laughs> Next time, the salty islanders want Megan to show up. They should roll out the red carpet and treat her like the VIP she is. My family. My family, they can't stand that Megan protects her mental health. My family, they can't stand it. And my family, 
Someone said that the world has forgotten there was a coronation. Where is that king anyway? Hiding from his hair. Prince William, my family, clearly that's what, what is happening, my family. My family, I'm happy that Megan protects her mental health, my family. You know, I'm happy that Megan has done that. Go where you wanted. Go where you're happy. Not where you are tolerated, my family. My family, tell me your thoughts about this, my family. I'd like to kindly please hear your opinion on this, my family, please. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Go best Harry, Megan, Archie, Libedana, Andoria, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all and forever. And my family, when we see Megan, make sure just know this, my family. Immediately, we'll report about my family. I just can't wait to see Megan being awarded the Women of Vision Award. May she continue thriving. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. My family, love you always and forever. God bless Megan, Archie, Lipidana, and Doria, Raglan, and Harry, and all of you members of the squad at home. Hey, never wins. Love wins. And Harry and Megan continue thriving. Smear campaign has been a complete and utter failure. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.